That's okay. You didn't make me a hot cross bun. How's it guys? We are just um, about to watch some Peppa Pig. We are sit up on the couch there. If you don't know who we is, it's Sav, myself, and then Sav's nephew. Because we are babysitting this weekend in Seapoint. Yeah, it's a Sunday morning, so we're gonna do a little bit of cartoons. It's a Sunday morning. That's, you know, that's part of our heritage as millennials. Is Saturday morning cartoons, Sunday morning cartoons. Baba. Yeah, oh, here we go. Baba. Yeah, here we go. This is <laughs> We are watching the episode called The Muddy Puddles, which I think I've seen like five times. I don't know how. As I'm sure you guys can hear in the background, there is some sort of activity happening. So I've just come out with Baby Davy, and we're just gonna go and investigate while Sav gets ready. So uh, to occupy the time, we're gonna see what the people are doing. We found the commotion. There is, I don't know if this is a fun run, a walk, a marathon. Thought it might be interesting for Davy to see though. I don't know what the vibe is though. Because it looks like they're just walking in a circle. So I have deduced from all the numbers on everyone's shirts with the name of the race. It is the Cape Town Big Walk. Um, there's a guy running in a Cape Town Big Walk t-shirt. So that helped clarify. And uh, this must be one of the refreshment stations. Or well, the hype up stations. We've got the cameraman over there. This is the halfway mark. And if you look, follow my finger, all the way, you can see all along the promenade, not just to this bit, but even down to that bit there, all the way around. So it's a it is a big walk. That's a big that's a big walk. Got a mid-morning snack of bananas, apples, and grapes. There you go. Please be seated, sir. Thank you. Day two of getting him in the car. He's actually super easy to get in the car, um, but we're gonna have to figure out how to break down this pram. I think we've got it. We are now off to the market, and as you can see, the great big Cape Town walk, what, the Cape Town big walk, is slowing down into a Cape Town big stroll. The market that we're coming to is called the Oranjes of Market, but it is here at the waterfront. Used to be in Oranjesacht. Used to be in Oranjesacht, yeah, exactly. But uh, they moved mm. it, so it's now the Oranjesacht City Farm Market. Um, you can see there. And uh, this is right by the waterfront, and this is actually where Atlantic Outlook is. I'll show you when we go past, if we go past it. And there you can see all the paddlers ready to go. Managed to unpack the stroller without breaking it. Davy's got his hat, which he's been very possessive of this morning. But um, yeah, here's Atlantic Outlook. Over there, that's where they all go, and you launch from there. It's a very cool experience. Not sponsored, by the way. I went with uh, Ben on his birthday, and I didn't vlog that day, just because I was like, I'm gonna go and celebrate Ben's birthday with him. And um, Ben did film a video from that day, so I'll link that. I think I might be able to put it on the end screen, otherwise I'll make it pop up as a card because yeah, you'll see what they do. It's I honestly would recommend it 10 times out of 10. Now you can see open Saturday 9am to 2pm and Sunday 9am to 3pm. This is the vibe of the market. Everyone brings their dogs. You've got fresh coffee here, there's little stalls with nuts and organic things. And then through here you've got all the uh, fresh goods, fresh produce. So your bok choys and your carrots. Things like that, uh, weigh and pay system, it's pretty good. And then if you come, is it in the last hour that everything's half price? Yeah? yeah. Well, well, not, not everything, everything I mean, majority of, of yeah. Because otherwise it'll go to waste. Yeah. And here you got coconut, fresh and natural. Delicious. But this is the section that we're always most interested in. The fresh food section, bacon on brie, have a little stall here. If you guys haven't been to bacon on brie, I would recommend it, it's on brie. Fire and smoke they're doing, look, they're smoking like whole racks of ribs, shoulders of lamb and, yeah, wow. You've got waffles, you got pies. This place is great. The crepes that they are doing here look so good. Damn, damn. Takes me back to Paris as well. Here's the biltong, I got kudu biltong, beef, chili beef, drubos as well, all so good. I got an eggs benny on a potato rosti, but we're trying to eat it quick quick, because someone wants to go, so. We are heading back for our nap, because the little one needs a nap, 
and uh, baby Davy also needs one. <laughs> and <laughs> but yeah, baby Davy almost had a tantrum, and Sav asked, "How did you know what to do?" Because I managed to prevent it, right? And it's like that thing where they say to catch a burglar, to catch a criminal, you need to think like a criminal. To calm a baby, you need to think like a baby. And luckily, I've been practicing for 27 years. So, you know, big old man child. Isn't that right, Sav? You're a big old man child. Oh yeah. Mm. I need my bottle, I need naps. Except your bottle's filled with beer. There you can mm. see the paddlers, just to wrap up that little note. So you come out quite far. We've been driving for, I mean, there's been traffic, but you paddle quite far, not too far, not uncomfortably far, and you only stiff the next day if you race, because that's what I did. I raced Ben, and I, I think I might have hurt my shoulder. <gasps> what? You took the cup. There's still some in there. You took the lid off. Now they're going to spill everywhere. But you know what I do see? What could I see? <clears throat> I see a big boat. Huh? And what's here? Cars. Lots and lots of cars. That's done, hey? We survived. We survived. He survived. He's still alive. Job done. Do we leave the car keys there? You're holding the car keys. No. On our way home, I'll show you. This is one of my favorite bends in all of Cape Town, just because of the reveal that you get. Because you're just driving, 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 you're still driving, and then, and then, wait for it, you bend, you keep bending, you yeah, keep bending, bend it a little bit more like Beckham, bend, 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 bend. bam. Who's that? My guy. My dude, what's up? So normally Vic and Pay lets you take these plastic bags for free and you can put your fruit, whatever, your bananas, your avocados. And I've just noticed this for the first time. They now got these reusable bags that you can put your fruit and veggies in. Reusable produce bag. It's really good, 7 and 50 very clever. I've popped my slops on. Hey, you're not JP's cat. Who are you? And anyway, come to JP's house. Because him and Ant are here, and we're gonna play some munchkin. You aren't JP's cat. JP's cat is old and not that color. Here's JP. How's it? Did, did you get a new cat, or? No, but it's like the reincarnation of our old cat is living in our garden. <laughs> just hanging out? Yeah, it's Boys are in the middle of a FIFA tournament, just them two though, so it's just a normal game, I guess. But uh, here's Ant. Let me show you the. Let me show you JP's actual cat. There it is. See, I knew it wasn't JP's cat. That's JP's cat. Rusty Trigger Lager, original. Apparently, it won some awards. Yeah. Africa Beer Awards, best lager, 2018. Hmm. Sco <laughs> score is one 0 I think someone's about to get a card, probably. It's because he got longer legs, dude. So. Oh, that's nice. Sure, the rats in Claremont are huge, dude. There's one in your garden. Massive. <laughs> yeah, golden rat. Hey, Tallulah. <whistles> oh, don't get attacked by the cat. Hello. Oh, a little bit of a toe licking. Yeah, I don't mind that. Check out the the wildlife in Claremont here. You've got some sugar birds sipping on some sugar water. You've got another. I don't know, what type of bird is that? Do you know it, James? That one. It's with got wings. Looks. <laughs> it's one of those <laughs> got wings. Yeah. It's a wing oh, winged God. bird. The winged yeah. ground bird. Wings, feather, the, le the lesser spotted winged bird. Fun little games afternoon with the boys, Ant and JP, and uh, Ant very kindly dropped me off um, on the way to his football game because he's going to go play some five-a-side footy and I might go join him one of these Sundays. We'll see. It is over dinner time though, so we'll, yeah, we will see. But uh, now I think we were planning stir-fry for dinner. So let's see if Sav started. Well, there's the kitchen. I'm guessing you haven't started dinner. gonna do some of the chicken with I know this says spice for fish but everybody knows that fish is just chicken of the sea so in a pan with some oil look at that already getting nice and hot simple as you'll see the final result now et voila stir fry the least imaginative name that any meal could have 
because it's also one of the least imaginative dishes. Although you can get very creative with it. I'll take that back. But still, least imaginative name for a meal. Stir fry. Oh, don't get attacked by the cat. <laughs>